welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial which is actually really nice to wear for the autumn. So as always let's get straight to the tutorial. The brow tutorial is linked in the info box. I'm priming my eyeshadow with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and this is in the shade Eden because I wanted quite a nude matte base. Then I grabbed my Makeup Revolution palette in Flawless and took the top left hand corner shade as my eyebrow highlight because I wanted something really matte as Kylie doesn't seem to wear too much of a shimmery highlight on her eyes. And then taking this coffee-ish colour, I'm applying that onto the crease of my eyelid as a really neutral brown transition colour. I found with some of the colours you do have to really build them up, but the whole palette is £8 so it's actually a really good bargain and quite a nice dupe for the naked palettes. Grabbing this more neutral brown toned colour, I'm adding that on to my actual eyelids. So I'm just packing on the colour just to make it look really kind of skin like. Taking a mixture of this cranberry colour and a really dark brown colour, I'm adding that on to the outer V of my eye and really working that colour in and blending it all so there's no harsh lines. Then taking this matte black eyeshadow on an angled brush, I'm just lining my eyes ever so slightly because this, once putting the lashes on, will give your eyes a really fuller effect. Your eyes? <laughs> I mean your eyelashes, it'll give your eyelashes a really kind of full effect without having to put too much eyeliner on. And don't worry about all the crazy fallout because we can just wipe that all away with a baby wipe or a cleansing wipe. Doing the usual tight lining here using Perversion by Urban Decay and I'm only tight lining the top waterline of my eyes. Just to slightly outline the eyes, I'm using the super liner So Couture by L'Oreal and just adding a really, really tiny wing on the outer parts of my eyes. And like you can see here, I'm literally just doing the outside bit, I'm not taking it in at all. I'm using the Subversion Lash Primer by Urban Decay and just priming my eyelashes because I wanted them to look super full and super long so I thought this would give my eyes a, that extra oomph. So I'm just applying about two layers of this on and then taking Perversion Eyeliner by Urban Decay and layering a, that bad boy on. I think I did about two or three layers of this. Is it me or does anyone else also go crazy on the mascara? I seem to do it way too much for my own good and I always suffer when I take it off. But look how amazing the lashes look. Just to add that Kylie flair, I did add some Demi Wispies onto my lashes. For the face, I used Bourjois Happy Light Foundation in shade 53 and applied that with my Beauty Blender all over my face and just making sure that it's super nice and super blended. And if you've watched my other tutorials in the past week or so, you can probably tell that I'm quite liking this foundation at the moment. I think it's um, a really nice autumn shade because it's in the middle of a matte and a dewy look. Grabbing my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer and anti ag eye eraser -y concealer -y thing from Maybelline, I'm adding this onto my under eyes in a triangle shape and doing the same on the other eye and just dabbing that product on. It's super highlighting like Kylie always has and then I'm also putting some on my chin, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, my forehead and just above my jawline. And I know how crazy this looks, but going in with the Beauty Blender and just blending that all out and making sure you're using a dabbing motions because you don't want to be spreading the product where it shouldn't be because we're going for quite a highlighted and contoured look here like Kylie's. This is probably going to be the bit that takes the longest because you really do have to work it in and blend it into your skin. Thank you. 
So using my banana powder by Ben Nye to just set the under eyes because this will add a bit more of a highlighted effect as well. For contour I used the Revolution eyeshadow in Delicious and just applied that to the hollows of my cheeks and I have been loving this eyeshadow as a contour. I think it's such a beautiful grey toned brown that it just gives you that perfect contoured look. And best of all, it's only one pound. <laughs> I'm taking that up also into my temples and my jawline and my hairline. Grabbing this Sephora press powder in the shade Deep, I'm just warming that up slightly because Kylie doesn't seem to wear too much blusher. But then I'm also taking this up into my hairline as well. Because Kylie doesn't wear that much blusher, I used the Dallas box powder by Benefit because it's such a like kind of like a no blusher blusher colour, um, so I'm applying that to my cheeks. Grabbing the Nude Eyeliner by Rimmel, I'm just lining my bottom waterline. I find that really layering this product on works best for this eyeliner. Now grabbing that same deeper brown colour on an angled brush, I'm just applying that to my lower lash line and really making sure that this is nice and blended out and just working the colour up because I always like to start off um, with a, a smaller amount of colour and then building it up. As a slight cheek highlight, I'm using the Celestial Powder by Kevin Aquan and just lightly adding that to the high points of my cheeks. For those Kylie lips, I'm taking East End Snob Lip Liner by Rimmel and just adding that to my lips. So I'm totally not overlining my lips like she does because I just seem to look like a clown. <laughs> Grabbing Sultry Matte Balm by Revlon and applying that on top of the lip liner. And I found this colour to look a little bit too pink. Um, so then I actually layered a little bit of Shameless, which is also a Revlon matte balm, on top just to darken it up slightly and I found that this literally created like that perfect Kylie colour. To make my lips look a little bit bigger I applied some of that same Kevin Aquan highlight onto my Cupid's bow like you can see here and if you do get any on your lips you can always go in and add more lip product and then also dab some onto the centre of my lips to give them the illusion of them looking a little bit fuller as well. And not forgetting are some mascara on the bottom lashes so I'm just applying that on to my bottom lashes and I totally forgot to put some press powder on on top of my skin but you can always go and add some on top. To get that fake bob look I literally just gripped my hair to the back and just pulled some random strands of my layers out. So that's the final look you guys, I really hope you like this, I actually love this makeup look. Also, I'm loving the short hair. What do you think? Do you guys think I should cut it or not? Leave me a comment below. But that's all for now, guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!